check, check. All right. What's going on, y'all? Uh, had an error. <laughs> so what we last left off is we got the head completed, right? And now, you know, we can get moving. So this, this video should be relatively, like, I'm going to move a lot faster in this video. I'll go over some of the old commands, but I didn't make a mistake. So I was messing with my file and somehow I got this issue right here where the neck is open now. So now I got to go fix that. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to do something very simple. Go into edit mode. And I'm going to take that ring. Uh, let's say, let me see if this works. Select um, so, uh, loops, edge loops. Uh, see. When you do this, it's not symmetric. This is what I mean by symmetric. Like, this is an actual ring. It's a complete ring. When you do things like this, it's not. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Control Plus to keep selecting. Oh, that's too far. Uh, let's go to face mode. I got to get rid of all this. I have to hurry up and actually, no. I'm going to do something a lot faster. I want to hurry up and make sure I get you guys something. This is just, I wanted to include this so you know when you mess a file up, there are some quick tricks to fix it. So I'm doing control select, control select to select everything around here. Notice that this accidentally collect, selected the wrong edge. Yeah, it did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, I got to zoom in here. Control and scroll. Um, all right, we're gonna go back here. Oh, for some reason I can't click that. Let me go Z six. I don't even see that edge. Oh, it got messed up somehow. Yeah, I gotta fix this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is hopefully, man, that doesn't work either. Yeah, go to face mode, click here, click here. What I want to do, what I'm trying to do is get back to a healthy ring um, somehow. So I'm going to the closest ring. I'm deleting everything there. That's a trick. Click X to delete it and click faces. And when you click this one, this one's just hanging in the air. So you can just click it, click L and click X um faces cool so now i'm back at the point where i got a clean ring so now i want to fix my edge and this shouldn't take much um let's go to edge mode click here and click select down to loops edge loops perfect so i go into front mode i do extrude uh oh I still got the subsurface modifier on. Um, I can actually make this real simple. Strude, scale, actually escape. This is killing the processing power on my computer, so I want to turn this modifier off for now. So click the little desktop looking image. There we go. Now things are moving faster. And I go Z4, the wireframe, and I scale down. Yep. Extrude again, Z, scale down, actually, grab, grab, GG, scale down. I want more to try to match the vertices I already have, so it's almost the same. Extrude down, uh, let me do this again, uh, scale, okay, extrude Z, E, Z to extrude. Scale again, and you just keep doing the same method. Uh, GG, I want that up a little bit. Uh, scale down, boom, extrude Z, and scale down. Cool. And then now that I'm down here, I want to close this. So then all I want to do is click F to create a face. And let me control Z or command Z on that. So you see it in solid mode, Z6 for solid mode. That ring is already selected. Every edge has to be selected in this ring to do it correctly. Face by clicking F. And then that, my friend, and I'm going to increase this to one. 
and then go back into front mode, go back by clicking tab in the object mode, and now I can view the modifier again, and now I'm back. Oh my gosh. But that's that. Where we left off was we had colored it in. Um, I added the teeth color, the antenna, or whatever. But that, once you've known how to do it, I'm going to add a little bit more later. Um, you got to get to the, 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 the pattern of doing the same thing over and over. Now, here, you'll notice this color bleeds. Um, you just have to do the same crease thing we did before where you go into edit mode by hitting tab and you go edge by edge and increase the crease right here. So if I click like an edge right here, whenever you make changes, like you, you unify objects, you lose all your creases. So I do it ahead of time just so I have an idea of what I'm looking at. But right now it says zero again and it should be one. And let's say if I clicked here, if I clicked on uh, one, it starts to clean up, right? So we'll do that later. So now we go back into object mode. Oh, always save, command S. If you're in Windows, you do control S. All right, cool. Now that we have the head, let's start off. All of the stuff in here should be very simple. Uh, I'm going to start off in the middle with a, let's start off with a cube. So I'm going to do shift A uh, to add mesh cube G Z. And just so I don't kill my processor, uh, my processes i'm going to turn this modifier off right now so it'll look blocky uh, actually we don't even care about this right now so let's hide it by clicking h cool so we zoom in and okay we want to scale this up scale it up i like to scale it up outside of the perimeter z4 for wireframe and the shoulder stops somewhere up here so i want that i want this feeling somehow so i want to scale by scale z Actually, I'm scaled in every direction. Just scale and drag G, Z. And there we go. Something like right there. Okay, cool. Now we want to, yeah, I think the shoulders stop. Uh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. So then we want, because I'm going to add, add this piece later. So then I'm going to do scale X to make sure it's closer to the edges. So I'll do scale by hitting S, X and bring this in bring this in it's slightly off center but cool now we got that um actually this is, no we'll leave it because i really want to move this picture but whatever so now we're going to edit mode hit tab uh let's go into face mode because we want a rounded shape i'm using the square because it's just easier to modify so i hit this one it don't make sense in a second and i hit S to scale and I scale down because we basically want a triangle but it's rounded off right that and let's do hmm how do we want to do this let's do something down the middle so we do a ring so control R and float it over this area to create that ring loop boom and you can see it's all around it so there's that um and let's do this. We're in edge mode? Yes. So deselect all, click option A, or if you're on Windows, alt A. Um, and then we're going to box select. So click B, select these edges, B, select these edges, and I'm going to hit G, Z. So now we got that rounded shape, right? Cool. So now, now that we have this rounded shape, we can start to create like the this round edge at the bottom. So we do control R, we're gonna create something on this side. Boom. Control R. And when you do this, um, float it over where you want it, click, and then click again so it doesn't move. And then now you got that. And then let's do box select this. Actually, I just realized that doesn't no, that's the edge. So Actually, it would be the middle part that seems like it's off. So deselect, uh, option A, box select, hit here, and then put G, Z. There we go. That's more of the smooth curve we want. Now, I curved this. So notice when I created a ring in the middle, it was parallel to 
the average between the two um, closest edges that it sees. So I put a pair of uh, vertical ring. It sees the two flat sides and just creates the average. And the average between those is the same. So the middle will be flat, right? But I created this curve first because I want these rings on the shirt. So now I'm going to go here or in a horizontal. And now you see a curve. And that's what we want. So it matches the entire thing. So actually, before I do that, we want this to be a more rounded shape. So let's do Control R along the side and hit let's do two yeah let's do two and we're gonna go enter enter go front mode and we are going to hmm, how do i want to do this let's do this edge this edge and i to do multiple select without continuous selection click shift click shift click shift click um and we're going to scale. I think that's what I need. We're going to scale in the X or S, X. Or actually, we want to scale in the X and the Y so we get a round shape. And we're going to go into proportional editing by clicking O or clicking here. And we're going to do scale. And we want to lock the Z because we don't want it to grow. We don't want it to scale um, in the positive and negative Z direction. We want only want it to go in a round direction. All right. So we do shift Z to lock the Z and do this. Um, oh, but okay, we need edges down here. So let's go back Z4. Um, oh, no, we got them. So why isn't it? Okay, let's go back. Scale shift Z. Oh, let's do that. So when you scroll up and down on your mouse pad or uh, on your scroll wheel, you can increase the dimensions of the pro proportional editing. So everything naturally decreases and uh, goes up and down. Okay, so that should be good. But notice how we're creating triangles at the bottom. But we're getting that shape we want. Click O to get out of uh, proportional editing. And then do, uh, since you already have these edges selected, G, Z, and bring these down just a bit. Boom, right there. Now we got a smooth curve at the bottom. Cool, and it's round all around. Then we're going to go into front mode, deselect, option A. Go into vertices mode, it's just hot in this time. And box select all the ones at this top. So B, and drag it across here. And we're going to do a trick and make everything flat by doing S to scale and then Z and then hitting zero. So now everything at the top is flat. Well, actually, before we do that, control Z or command Z for Apple. And we want the rings to go across to make these edges. So we do control R. We do three. And click and bring them down just a bit. Yeah. Um. Uh, it's not going to match directly. We're going to do it like right here. Yeah. So then we're going to do, go into edge mode. Click this edge. And we want to bring this down. So select uh, loops, edge loops, GG. To drag it along the vertices and drag it like right here. That should be cool. That's close enough. So now we want to create these rings. And before we do that, we go back to the vertices mode. We're going to flatten the top because we want everything to mesh well. So we're going to do deselect all by doing option A. Click box select for B. All these vertices and click scale Z zero. Now it's flat. All right. Now we got the basic shape. Now we just got to create our rings. And just to make sure they're the same dimension, we can go into our overlays menu by clicking right here, this little drop down here, and going to edge length. So what does edge length do? We're going to edge mode. If you click an edge, now you get the dimensions of that. You get the length of that edge, right? Why do we need that? So we get all of these the same exact size. So I'm going to do a control R to create a ring. And we're going to drag this down to, and I care about the middle the most. So let's drag this down to maybe... I don't know. Uh, let's do 0.05. Now, 
Now you see, like I can't get 0.05 on the dot. It's always jumping around. If you hit shift, hold shift while you do it, you get smaller increments and decrements. So that's 508. Click, zoom, in, uh, do it again, and hit GG. Hold shift and get like 0.05 even. Okay, I do it one more time. These are for my people that have OCD that want it really close. Now, another trick is if you zoom in, you can get a better ring. So GG, shift, hold. There we go. 0.05 millimeters. Cool, 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 cool. So we're gonna do it here as well. Ring. We'll just drag it from the bottom. Uh boom, boom, boom. we want to get close to 0.05. Zoom in. GG. Drag that up till we get 0.05 on the dot. Uh, and that's a rent. That's just a random arbitrary number I came up with. It doesn't really matter. You can make it as thick as you want to. But once you get used to it, you can get a kind of feel of what you like as far as dimensions wise. And zoom in. GG. And bring that up to five. Cool. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do is I want to get like a bulge to create that line effect. Because right now if I go into solid mode, uh, Z6. It doesn't really look like anything. If I go and add a modifier by clicking the wrench down here, um, subdivision surface, let's do three. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and you get that, but it doesn't really look like anything. Um, so it just looks like if I go into object mode, it just looks like flat area. You can't even tell those divisions are there. So go back into edit mode. And what you do is, what I do is, it's a million ways to do this. Control R, create rings. I go right in the middle and hit two. All right? Cool. Do the same thing here. Hit two. Cool. And do the same thing here. All right? Go back into object mode. Still doesn't look like anything. Go back out. And now click this edge, this edge. This is, this is just random. And we can cut these overlays off because now it's starting to get confusing. Cut these off. All right. And now I'll click select loops, edge loops. And what you're going to do, what I, it's, it's two ways I do it. I either scale in or scale out, right? So I hit S for scale. And I do, uh, I don't know, 1.01. .01. Uh, I think that's good. Um, and for some reason, this one went up and this one went down. So let's do this. Let's do scale Z. Yeah, so we match a little better. That's better. And then now we have lines along the middle. Now it's starting to look like those lines actually exist. So save, always save. And we're going to name this a uh, torso. Why does it sound like my window is open? Um, yep, uh, I really want this smooth. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, and I don't care about the edge. The edge needs to be a little sharper, so let's go in. Um, let's click this edge. Click select. Uh, loops, edge loops. Uh, see, because it's not symmetric, it's not going to select it the way we want it. So we got to manually click this. So control click, um, control click, control click. Don't go too far away from the original click because you'll lose your space. So yeah, there's that. And we can do a trick. We can do control B to bevel and scroll up just a bit. Um, uh, as you scroll, uh, either with your trackpad or with the scroll wheel, if you have a mouse, it'll increase the divisions for this bevel so you can make it smooth or not. I just need a few so it has a slight curve. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, one major key I'm missing. So let's do this. We're going to click all these because it has like a slight bulge. So we're going to say select um, loops, edge loops. And we're going to do a scale. Actually, I, I want everything to be the same. So we're going to box select. Select all these. Remember when you do box select in object mode, I mean in solid mode, it only selects what you see. Um, so it doesn't select the back, right? So you do select. 
uh, loops, edge loops. There you go. One, and we're gonna do scale. Uh, let's do X, scale in the X direction. Like right there, maybe. All right, and then deselect all that, and then this one to give it that nice rounded shape. Uh, yeah, I think select loops, edge loops, scale X. Yeah, now it's more of a rounded shape. Cool. So yeah, now we got that. And now we have our shape. Um, why do I feel like this area needs a little square? Oh, because it's slightly off. So now, now we have our torso. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Save. All right. Now that we have that, we do Alt or Option H. And now you got the head. And now you get an idea of what it'll look like once everything is connected. Notice that the head, the base of the head is slightly smaller. That's okay because we're going to cover it with something. But whenever you're doing meshes, you want to make sure that one is lar one surface is larger than the next. Because when you unify them, it doesn't work. So I'm going to do one more before I do a time lapse um, to speed this up. To make sure you get what you need so let's turn this off so we're not killing it turn this off save and now we want to create uh the legs and arms so now i'll start off with the legs uh, this should be extremely easy do shift a add a cube cubes like i said are always easier to work with g to grab it bring it down here and yeah now we got this going to uh, let's scale it just a little bit because i want the boot to be covered so then z4 for wireframe um and we can we can rotate it later so going to edit mode and we are going to start to play around with this so going to faces one um we're going to rotate because it does have a slight dip so i'm going to grab it and kind of like bring it like right here rotate a little bit more like right there cool and then we're gonna grab this face one scale it down because it's gonna have like a rounded boot shape grab x scale it down some more boom uh rotate it slightly because it has a curve we're gonna extrude cool scale it down again grab x cool uh yeah that's fine Scale it down. So when I extrude this time, so I'm extruding. So E, and it's going to extrude along that axis it's already on. And I'm going to do it at the edge of the top of the shoe. Scale it down some more. GX. Boom. Yeah, let's keep it right there. And then we're going to extrude. And the reason I did that, I'll show you in a second. Grab X. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this face, or select that face, extrude. So now I have the start and end point of that shoe. We can scale it down, grab Z, and we're going to rotate this so we get like that sharp edge, and like maybe like right here, maybe. That should be good. Control R to create some rings so we get a like curve three and then now i'm going to take these parts these edges and create my own little curve so grab z yeah and then grab this one one grab z just like that all right so now that we have that now we can start to create the dimensions and make it rounded off so let's do control r or yeah control r Grab it here. Um, how can we round off this boot? Let's take this edge, this edge, and no, let's take just those two. This one and this one. And we scale in the Y. Scaling, eventually, it'll make more sense the more you play with it. Um, like which ones you, you should select and how it'll affect other ones. It'll start making sense after a while. Control R, do one this way. 
and then click boom, boom, and let's grab it in the X, because everybody, I think for the most part, a lot of people get, the hardest part is their orientation for some reason, orientation for me is we, okay, because I did circuits, so for me, this feels natural, I'm going to rotate this just a bit, all right, and yeah, that should be good, and we're going to grab this. So once you get comfortable enough with adjusting to which axes goes where, grab X, it'll start to make more and more sense. So now that we have that, and let's make this a more curved one, grab Z, yeah, slight curve, and... We want the edge, the edge. So I never make, um, let's grab X. I never make the base of my prints like flat if possible. If the design calls for it, then I'll do it. But I usually try my best not to make them flat because when you're printing, it gets really hard to do something. And then let's do, let's do a control B for bevel. Drag it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's easy to take off the print bed when it has a little a slight curve. All right, because and we're doing this for 3D printing. All right, and then this area is supposed to have like let's do this K. K is our knife tool, so if you want to add an edge, you just click K, and it only adds an edge where you select it. So K, and I hold Control to lock it on different vertices so I know it's going in the right place because you don't want random vertices all over your mesh. Click enter. All right. Now I'm going to take, uh, let's say this edge and this edge. One, and I know this has a slight curve. Uh, actually, let's go to vertices mode. And it's just like this one, I guess. Grab Z. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, and grab all these. Grab Z slightly. Yeah, it's like a quick dip. All right. So now that we got the basic shape of the shoe, um, how we want to do this? Now we want to click face mode and just to keep it as easy as possible, make this whole leg and the shoe one big piece. And we go to one. And you know it's relatively that size where the leg starts. So we're going to do what's called inset by clicking I. And it insets on all those faces. And bring it in like maybe like right here. And click. Now I'll click extrude. Uh, oh, actually, I think that messed up. Oh, the mesh is inverted. So let's do inset. Again. Okay, sorry about that. Some somehow my sound got messed up. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, uh let's do actually let's get rid of some of these vertices. So let's go into edge mode. Click X, uh, I click X, okay. Click this, 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 uh, this, this. Now, normally what people do is they click X to delete and click edges, right? And now you got a hole, you don't want that. So Control Z, what you wanna do is X, dissolve edges, and now you got an even face, right? That works. So now we go back into face mode, and I want this to be flat. So again, I go into vertice mode when you want things to be flat for the S, Z, zero, and that should work. And then you go back into face mode and scale it down just a little bit more and grab X because it's almost to, it's a tiny little scale it down. I think it's like right there. And we do extrude. Now, we want it a little bit thicker than we expected because we want it to actually make sense. Again, you want it to go into the next mesh so it unifies correctly. Hit rotate. Now, let's grab X. 
right there. Grab uh, all right, then we're gonna create some rings again. Control R, hit three. Uh, three should be fine. Uh, grab X, and now we like this slight curve. Let's look that edge loops, edge loops. Grab X. Now I got a nice little curve, right? Um, and then let's make sure again, this is. Uh, let's see everywhere that should have nice bevels so it should be curved so that should be a nice bevel um let's go control b bring it out just a bit yep just like that uh and then here i think the shoe and the boot are in the leg are the same color so that should be good we don't have to divide it um and then let's do Let's just make this crease one. So now we go solid mode, I mean object mode by hitting tab, subdivision surface, and now we have our boot and leg. There we go. And then we wanna rotate that. Actually, let's fix this foot because it can't be on its tippy toes. So let's fix this foot. Um, How do we wanna fix this? Let's do Let's go into vertices mode because we need it to be flat. Wireframe one, uh, we can't see that at all. Okay, cool. So now let's do this. Just these vertices at the bottom. Yeah. Go we'll scale Z zero. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So let's bring this down, grab Z, bring it down just a bit. Oh, it selected those up top. I forgot about. So deselect one box select. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna do GZ. Bring it down just a smidge, and then rotate it so we get closer to a flat edge. And yeah, that should be fine. We do uh, scale Z zero. Right. So it's going to be slightly off because we want it to live, be flat on the bed, right? Actually, that doesn't even look flat. Oh, it's flat. So then we go back into object mode, Z6, so we can see the vertices and the edges and the smooth. And then we're going to do rotate Z because we don't want his legs to do this, right? So rotate Z till you get a nice little, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, we're going to bring this in, grab X. And now we're going to do the mirror modifier. Wrench, uh, add modifier, and go to mirror. And click the little dropper to select where to mirror it about. Actually, we're missing an object. On H, click the dropper. Boom. And that is how you add both your legs. Actually, we need to bring these up just a bit. Grab Y. GY, uh, I think it should probably be like right there. All right, so notice how my objects are like well into the next one. So when we unify them, it'll look better. All right, now I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing for the arms and then I'm gonna do a time lapse because that is the exact same process and we mirror it, modify it, whatever. And then I'm gonna catch you guys in that sense. So let's get started. Now Okay, so we're back, and the last part is, so we got all our pieces now. The last piece we're missing is, is this little collar piece. So let's hide all of these. Um, I don't know what to call this. Shift A, and we'll do a, we'll do a cylinder. We'll do a cylinder, and if I move my face, down here at the bottom left, you'll get this menu. So you add cylinder. Drop this down to three vertices. So you get a triangle and actually yeah let's do three so now you have a triangle and now that you have that triangle we're going to let's leave one we're going to increase the radius like right 
maybe like here. Yeah. So then now that we got that, what we want to do is how we want to make this. Now we got to rotate this in the Z direction with 90 degrees. Oh, maybe like 100. 120. Negative 90. Negative 120. That is so weird. Oh. There we go. So we want it like that. Um, now that we got it, let's see how we want to do this. We want to create like a rounded collar effect and have it smooth. So let's, let's do this. R, control R here, control R here. Actually, that's what I wanted. Why well, didn't I do it that time? Control R. Huh, it didn't. Okay, so K, knife tool, kill control. Hold control the whole time you're doing it. Uh, K, control, hold control, hold control, click. Now we got all these edges made. Let's scale these, lock the Z direction by doing shift Z and just round it slightly. Yeah, like right there. All right, now let's click this edge down at the bottom. Select loops, edge loops, scale it down, scale down, uh, extrude. Scale down like that. Okay. Um, how we want to do this? Click this face, inset, and let's say two. No, that's too big. Whoa. Let's say five. Did it do it? Okay. Inset five. No. Three, two, one. Let's say 0.5. Grab Z. Uh, inset 0.5. Grab Z. Cool. All right, that should be cool. So then we're going to go back into object mode. We are going to subdivide, go back. Um, go into click A for all, go into face mode, and then go into edits. Face tools, and we're going to do, let's see, well, utility tools, subdivide. And just add a bunch of vertices to make it a lot better. All right, then go to four, rotate this about the x axis, and rotate it like that. So now we have rotate x, something like this. Grab C. Yep, and now you got the little collar. I guess you can say scale it down just a bit. Uh, scale in the X a little bit so it's a sharper curve. Boom. All right, grab Z. I think that's good. So all H. Now we got it. We should be up and working. Uh, actually, I want this collar up just a bit. Grab Z. Okay. Before I do anything, first thing, let's grab why I want to bring this up just a bit too. No, that's fine. Leave it right there. Yeah, I actually don't like the back of this. So let's take all of these faces, Z4. Let's take all these faces. Uh, make sure we're grabbing them correctly. And we don't know what the back looks like, so we're just going to make something up. Grab Y. Uh, yeah, let's do something like this. Rotate it slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Z6. Yeah, I like that better. Because we get a full collar almost. Alien shapes, sharp angles. Okay, so I'm going to turn the modifiers off. All the subdivision surface modifiers, turn all those off. Uh, make sure they are all off because it makes the render very easy. Apply all our mirror modifiers. You can only apply in object mode. All right. Save. 
first thing you do click all duplicate uh don't click all let's do this b box select select everything right here all right one duplicate duplicate by doing shift d and you should see a white line and click x or something and move it over here now we got our backup It'll automatically every, name everything and add like 0.001 to it and everything. So now we want to try to merge the mesh. So first we, let's start off easy. We're going to do the legs to the torso. Click my tools and click, I'm sorry, click uh, wait, why isn't it? Click this, this. Oh, click edit and on auto bull, click union. All right, click this one, auto bull, click union. Oh, wrong one, not the brush tool, auto bull, union. And let's actually add this to the head, union. I uh, did it again, union, and this to this, or this to let's do this to this. Again, now we want to do subdivision surface. It's going to take a lot longer now. Save that, increase it. And now we should have how many? We almost have. Oh, okay, cool. That is your Invader Zim. Uh, in the next one, we can go through coloring, exporting, and actually going into a slicer and getting it ready for the 3D printing. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. You should have your Invader Zim now. It is ready to go. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll add some, ver um, some edge control and all that good stuff to make sure it's ready to print. So think about it. And we'll color it in the next one as well. I think, yeah, we got to fix the color. So thank you for watching. Thank you. Listen, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe, link on that bell. Oh, yeah, we got to color the rest of this. <laughs> link on that bell um, so we get all the notifications when new, comment, con uh, when new content comes out. Sorry. And uh, just let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, where I can improve, where I can make it easier to follow. If I'm missing anything, specific topics you want to discuss, and we'll just go for there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. If you follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube. If you follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. Let me know.